What's up guys, Apple ITR here, and today I'm going to be going over some awesome Cydia tweaks for jailbroken devices running on iOS 11.3.1, as well as all versions of iOS 11. Now before we get into the video, I just want to say that all Cydia tweaks will be listed in the video description below, as well as all Cydia repos that will be used to download these tweaks. With that being said, let's get into it. All right, so the first tweak I'm going to be going over today is called Swipe for More. Now Swipe for More pretty much makes a modification to your Cydia application that allows you to easily add items to the download or deletion queue in Cydia. So here is the tweak itself. It's called Swipe for More. Let's go to the Changes tab in Cydia, and here are a few tweaks I want to install. So let's say I want to install Abeo and Barmoji. Pretty much what Swipe for More allows me to do is swipe left on one of the tweaks and as you guys can see two buttons pop up. There's a Q button, the green one to add the item to the queue, and there is the blue download button. So I'm going to tap the green button and add a Bayo to the queue. Now say I will also want to add bar mode to the queue. I can do it with ease using that green Swipe for More button and I can pretty much add any item I want to the download queue using Swipe for More. And this makes adding things to the queue so much easier than the typical city of method. All right, so the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys for iOS 11 is called 7 Icon Dock. Now, 7 Icon Dock is self explanatory, it lets you have seven applications in your iDevices dock. So I have the tweak installed. Let's head to my springboard and I'm just going to hold down an app and have them start wiggling. So now I can drag in extra icons into my dock up to seven. So there we have six, let's add one more and make it seven. So there you have it, there are now seven icons in my dock. Once again, this tweak is called seven icon dock. All right, so the next tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Color My CC Modules. And what Color My CC Modules does is it pretty much allows you to customize the color and feel of your iDevices control center. So here's a tweak in Cydia. Let's head to my iPhone springboard and let's whip out my control center. So as you guys can see, my control center modules are all now blue. Now Color My CC Modules pretty much allows you to customize the look and feel of it by adding a little settings tab in your iDevices settings. So click on your iDevices settings and go down right here and you guys will see Color My CC Modules. So if we tap on that, you guys can see we can enable the tweak and we can tap on choose CC module color. So if we tap on that, we get a nice little color wheel. You can use the color wheel and spin it around and select a color. Now after selecting a color, tap out of the little color pane and scroll down and make sure to respring your iDevice. Otherwise the changes will not take effect. So once again, this is called Color My CC Modules. The next tweak I'll be showing you guys today is called Cylinder. Now Cylinder is a wildly popular tweak in the previous iOS's and now it works for iOS 11. So Cylinder pretty much allows you guys to add awesome home screen icon animations to the icons on your springboard. And as it says right here, there are currently 45 separate icon effects. So I have Cylinder installed. Let's head to my springboard. And as you guys can see, this is the curl and roll away cylinder effect. So that's definitely really cool with every page that I scroll to. It adds that nice little spinning effect to my icons. So the great thing about Cylinder is that it also adds a settings pane in the settings. So here we have the Cylinder pane or Cylinder tab in the iPhone settings. We have it enabled. We can also click on effects and we can change the effects. Now, like it said, there are 45 different Cylinder effects. Uh, as of right now, I have the curl and roll away effect selected. But what the cool thing about Cylinder is, is that you can actually stack effects. So as you guys can see, little numbers appear next to the effects. Now I find stacking a bunch of effects to be a little confusing. I really don't think it looks that great. So I like to stick to one effect at a time. But just to show you guys what other types of effects there are, let's do a dominoes effect. 
And as you guys can see, it gives that nice little dominoes transition every time you scroll the page over. And let's do one more effect just for fun. We will do the explosion effect. So as you guys can see, the app icons sort of expand outwards or explode every time you change the page. So Cylinder is a great tweak, guys. Definitely download this one. The next tweak I want to show you guys today is called Color Status Bar. Now what Color Status Bar allows it to do is customize the look and color of the status bar as well as the color of the status bar text. So let's exit to my home screen and as you guys can see my status bar is a nice light blue with white text. Now with Color Status Bar it adds a settings pane or settings tab and here it is in my iPhone settings. We can either choose a status bar theme or you can press enable and choose a foreground color which is the text and a background color which is the background or status bar color itself. So we can mess around with the colors and change them up. All you guys have to do after changing the colors is click restart springboard otherwise the changes will not take effect. Now color status bar also allows you to change the battery color. So if I tap enable I can also change the battery color of my status bar simply by using this little color chooser. So color status bar is definitely an awesome tweak to have guys. The next tweak I have for you today is called Sliver. Now Sliver is a very very simple and bare bones tweak. Pretty much what it does is it takes your iDevices dock and forms it into this slim stylish sliver. So pretty much you guys have seen it earlier in this video, I'm going to go to my home screen and right at my dock is that little sliver right above my icons. And that's exactly what Sliver does. It adds that nice, clean, and stylish, sleek look to your dock just by making it that tiny little sliver. I think this tweak is really cool. It's really simple. There are no settings customization options for it yet. I'm not sure if they will add actual customization options in system settings. But pretty much what you do is you install Sliver in Cydia and then you just respring your device and it will take effect. So in my dock is that little sliver and it's really cool. I think it's really stylish. The next week I'm going to show you guys today is called Eclipse X and Eclipse X pretty much allows you guys to add system wide dark mode to your eye device. So just to show you what it does. I've added system dark mode using Eclipse X to my settings application. And here we have it, my settings app is in dark mode. So also with Eclipse X, you can pretty much add it to any application you want in the settings pane that it offers. So here we have the app store, let's open this up. And as you guys can see, the app store is now in dark mode. So this is just an awesome tweak guys. I mean, I think it makes everything look really cool um, and just really interesting. I really like that dark mode. You can add it to any application you want, even third party applications downloaded in the app store. Um, and as you guys can see, it's added to the calendar app as well. And I think I also added it to Safari. All right, so the next week I'll be showing you guys today is called Fluidity. And Fluidity pretty much allows you guys to add iPhone X design as well as functionality to any other iPhone model. So this pretty much allows us to turn our iPhones into the iPhone X in a way. So here's Fluidity in my system settings. I've already installed the tweak. Uh, I have, have it enabled and I have the status bar as well as the iPhone X home indicator enabled. So after enabling all of those things, just tap restart springboard. Let's go to my springboard and you guys will get this. Now in my status bar, it looks exactly like the iPhone X's status bar. But aside from design, Fluidity also adds iPhone X functionality to any other iPhone model. So let's just go into my settings app. And if we want to exit this app, just like you would on the iPhone X, we can kind of swipe up from the bottom and it will exit the app. So just to do that again for you guys, I am swiping up from the bottom of my iPhone and I'm closing out my apps. So this is exactly what would happen in the iPhone X. So this is definitely really cool guys. I think this is one of the coolest tweaks out there right now. I think this feature is really cool. And I wish it was on other iPhone models, but it's not. But with Fluidity, you can get it. 
So aside from closing out apps, you can slide from the top right hand corner and it will bring up the control center. And if you slide from the left hand corner, just like on the iPhone X, it'll bring up your notifications. So again, this tweak is called Fluidity. It gives you iPhone X functionality as well as design. Definitely a cool tweak, guys. All right, so the next city of tweak I have for you today is called Music Bar. And what Music Bar pretty much allows you to do is it allows you to tap the volume up button on your iPhone and it brings up this really stylish, cool music bar for your device. Now, typically on your device, you guys will see a little volume bar that you can slide and bring up to adjust the volume in this music bar. But because I'm recording this through QuickTime Player on my Mac, it doesn't show that little bar for me. But you guys will have that volume adjust bar. And if you guys want to close your music bar, all you guys have to do is just tap on the volume up button once again, and it will close your music bar. And you guys just can close and open it. So that's kind of a cool stylish take on the Control Center's music module. All right, so the final tweak I'll be showing you guys in this video is called a Bayo. And what a Bayo does is it pretty much removes your iPhone's dock and it adds an extra row of icons to your springboard. So after installing a Bayo, you guys will see that your dock is still kind of there. All you have to do is go into your settings and then go down and go to a Bayo. Make sure enabled is checked and just respring your device and you guys will get this. So as you can see, my dock is completely gone and I can just scroll through my iPhone pages as if there was no dock. Now what I like about this tweak is it actually keeps those little dot indicators telling you what page you're on. And I just think this is a really cool tweak guys. It's kind of a cool stylish take on the springboard um, and it adds that extra row of icons there. So once again, this tweak is called a Bayo. Definitely a cool tweak guys. Um, I think it looks very stylish on the springboard, especially with no dock. It just looks all very unified to me and that's why I really like Obeo. All right, so that is it. Those are 10 awesome Cydia tweaks for iOS 11.3.1. I hope you guys enjoy them. Once again, all of the tweaks will be listed below in the video description as well as the repos for Cydia. Download them, I highly recommend them. They're awesome tweaks, all of them, and they honestly will take your iDevice to the next level. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a comment, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.